it is so important to learn how to take responsibility for our actions and to be able to learn when we see other people behaving in certain ways that we know are unhelpful or are likely motivated by behaviors, characteristics, ways of thinking about ourselves in the world that are not conducive to good outcomes or to situations that are positive, really. I don't know if you have been following the Ben Simmons situation. He's a basketball player for the Philadelphia 76ers. I find it really fascinating. He is an incredibly talented guy. He has been relatively successful in his career thus far. And all of a sudden, there was a bit of a blow up because last year in the playoffs, he stopped shooting the ball. He was literally scared to shoot and was passing up opportunities that were hard to fathom, particularly in someone like his situation. It's important not to pass judgment here, okay? So I'm not, I don't want to say anything about him per se. What I think is important for us to learn from is the the psychology, the behavior, the attitude, the choices, those type of things. Because when we can notice these things in other people, we can reflect on them in ourselves and we can learn a lot that way. So I want to give three main behavior patterns, ways of thinking that are really difficult and problematic that we can identify in ourselves. And then we'll give some antidotes to that or some solutions at the end, okay? Okay, first behavior pattern, avoidance. Now this can be through the thoughts, through the emotions, through behavior. It's really clear that Ben Simmons is avoiding taking shots. Now that could be for a variety of reasons, but I wanna boil it down to the fundamentals of avoidance. Why do humans avoid feelings, thoughts, situations? We could talk for hours and days about this, but again, in this case, Ben Simmons is avoiding taking shots because he's not confident in them. They force him to feel bad and to feel inadequate, to feel as if he's not good enough. Now, I hope that you can relate to that to yourself. Do you avoid situations because they might make you feel inadequate? They might trigger a negative core belief that you have. They might force you to look at yourself in a way that makes you uncomfortable. Number two, responsibility. Another thing you often see with people in general is this, this avoidance, I'll take number one, add it to number two, an avoidance of taking responsibility for our behavior or for our words, whatever it is that we are doing. Now, Ben Simmons is pointing the finger at everybody else. Now, we all know what happens when you point the finger at other people. There's one, two, three fingers pointing back at you. So remember that whenever you're blaming somebody else for your problems or your situation, just remember there's three fingers pointing back at you in which you likely have a big part to play in the situation. So he's blaming the Philadelphia 76ers. He's blaming his teammates. Never once has this young man taken responsibility for his poor performance or the fact that he could do things to improve. And if he did those things and was honest about them, I think people would be giving him a break. I think the whole situation would be a lot better. Okay, I think number three is a mixture of integrity and courage, really. Ben Simmons is showing a huge lack of courage. He's hiding from his problems. He's blaming everybody else. He's avoiding looking in the mirror and accepting the fact that he's got problems or he could improve. And those inadequacies, shortcomings are causing his teammates and those around the Philadelphia 76ers problems. All he needs to do is just acknowledge that he is not performing very well and acknowledge that yes, this is a problem and then show people that he's willing to work on those things. 
what happens a lot of times, particularly with really highly skilled athletes, is they've built up this image of themselves. I'm this, I'm so good, I'm the best, no one can mess with me, etc. So any challenge to that self-perception is met with intense resistance, defense and defensiveness, etc. It's similar almost to a bit of narcissism, is that we the narcissistic personality does not want to be challenged in its perception of itself and how it sees the world. So those are the, the three things. Now, what can we do about these things? So if you are having a hard time with avoiding certain situations you know are difficult, if you are not taking responsibility for some choices you think you should be taking responsibility for, here's a couple of things you can do. Number one, surrender. Surrender to the fact that this is actually happening, okay? Things are not going well. I have something to do with that. And I have to learn to surrender, to let go, to stop fighting what's actually happening in front of me. You might add in sort of this form of acceptance to that. So surrender and acceptance of, I'm not doing something properly. There's a problem here or a situation that needs to be addressed. And excuse me, the next piece, which I sort of mentioned, is this idea of responsibility. So if we can surrender, accept what's happening, then perhaps we need a little bit of courage. That So that would be another antidote. Courage and responsibility to acknowledge what we've done and have a little bit of courage that we're going to be okay. We can handle this. Humans are incredibly capable of doing incredible things, but we have to surrender to our faults and we have to be honest about what's going on. Surrender, acceptance, courage. And the last antidote here we have is commitment. Do what you say you're going to do. So if you can surrender and accept what's going on, if you can muster the courage to do something about it, you need that commitment to follow through. You need that commitment to stay on track when things get really uncomfortable and you don't want to do it anymore. And you just want to throw up your hands in the air and just kick and scream and yell and whine and complain. So Ben Simmons, NBA player, superstar, all-star. He, I don't even want to say him as an individual, but his situation, we can all learn a lot from this. Okay. Are you avoiding responsibility? Are you avoiding looking yourself in the mirror? Are you blaming other people for your problems? Are you unable to just acknowledge that your shit stinks as well? If you are, you can practice surrender. You can practice acceptance. You can muster up a little bit of courage and you can commit to doing something about it. Okay, I hope that's helpful. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, share this video. Please ask me any questions you have. My name's Mike Stroh. I'm a psychotherapist. I'm the founder of Starts With Me, a mental health consultancy business. And I'm also a meditation teacher. I love to do this thing. My ultimate goal is to help you increase your capacity for well-being and resilience. And don't forget, that starts with me. That starts with you, one day at a time, one foot in front of the other. Take it easy. Peace.